Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back again. I request you to watch my previous video on same topic, SAPSD, real-time scenarios. I will try to provide the link in description. Please go through that. And if you want me to discuss about any other topic, any other issues, please do let me know in the comment section. And if I want to improve anything, please do let me know. I will try to improve myself and I try to give my best. Okay, now let's get started. There is one more requirement from business stating that they want to have activate some critical functionalities based on sales document type wise. For example, uh, the critical functionality in the sense plan substitution, skip, profit center validation, payment check, order reason activation, allow pricing modification, automatic repricing. For example, so if, uh, if you see this uh, table for cash sales, CS sales document type, we have enabled payment check. That means when we try to create a sales order, the payment check should be validated only for CS and same thing with RE. So whenever it is maintained, then the validation should happen on the payment check. If there is nothing is maintained, for example, in case of CR, there is nothing maintained. If there is nothing maintained, then there won't be any validation should take place. Similar way, auto repricing has been validation enabled for only CR sales document type. For other sales document types, it has been uh, <coughs> disabled. That means the auto repricing is not allowed in case of other sales document type apart from this CR sales document type. So these are the requirement as part of my project. In your project, different clients have different requirements. Accordingly, we should develop this custom table. I have named the custom table as ZDOC underscore type. It might also differ. And we should add that relevant fields, whatever we did here. After developing this custom table, we should write relevant code changes in the relevant user exits. And uh, moreover, for that uh, custom table, we should add authorization object as well as relevant roles. The roles will be provided by business or client to us. Once we receive roles from them, we should sh share it with our security team. Security team will assign the roles to this table. And after that, we can get an agreement with the business stating that whether this table can be maintained by themselves in production directly or it can be transportable from development to quality to production. If it is a transportable, then we can directly do that by ourselves without adding any roles because in production most of the custom tables is SM30, SC16N, most of the uh, regular T codes will be restricted to business users, right? So we can directly transport it without adding object, authorization object and relevant roles. It is required whenever the table should be maintained by business directly in production. If we don't maintain this object and uh, roles and the more changes to production means, then there might be a chance that you, uh, the unwanted user can access this table and uh, maintain some illogical entries, which may lead to some problem. Provide that only we are restricting this to assign the roles. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.